Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bo. Hey, something a little different for you tonight. I've uh, been working all weekend basically in the wood shop and I figured this would be a good time to check in. Uh, doing a little Final Fantasy XIV. We'll be doing some guides for that soon. Uh, it's actually not too bad. It's, it actually addresses quite a number of the things I didn't really like about World of Warcraft. And uh, we're going to go over a hell of a lot of crafting guides for that. My buddy Mike's helped me out. Um, speaking of which, this, if you guys remember back about two weeks ago, I said, like, who do you want me to build? Uh, some cross or a humidor box. So this is the humidor box. I decided to just build the box. I didn't do a build video on it because I was way too lazy and I'd rather just focus on getting them done because I didn't build one. I built two of them. They look exactly the same. Uh, the wood grain's different, but the construction's the same. What is this thing? Okay, if you notice the dial on the top, it says hydro. It's actually a hydrometer. It tells you what the relative humidity is inside the box or around the dial. So in this case, it's inside the box. The top is uh, various different woods that I got from the lumber yard. These are all scraps. This is all the crap they're going to throw away. So I took it, made it, glued them all together, and made this really pretty lid. Now you'll notice there's a bit of a cup to it, right? So it's kind of like a little bow shape. I want that because what I want is when I latch this thing in, it'll pull the lid down, making a nice seal on the top. See? Put that... See? Nice. That's, that's what you need. So, it is made of red cedar, which is this one right here. A little bit of cherry around the lip here. Bottoms of some uh, quarter inch plywood, no big deal. What's up with the shape? You guys see the shape here, right? It's a really different shape. It's actually pretty sick. I was um, experimenting with something new and I thought this would be fun. Normally you do in these is you make just a box, right? So you'll make a box, um, you'll do, like, let's get this pen, I got a pen for you. Okay, Ugh. come on, don't block any of the, ah. There we go. Ugh. No, oh, switch it, there you go. Derp, oh, I'm trying to do this, okay, you guys get the point. Okay, so you, you get a box like this, right? Normally on the corners, you'll do what's called a miter. Okay, so you'll do uh, this, okay? That's a miter joint. That's what that is right there. All I did was do an additional cut at the same angle to produce basically an octagon. Now granted, this little area is gonna be a lot less strong than it could be, uh, but, I still have more than half an inch of material here. It runs all the way up the side. And on top of that, I've got a nice sturdy bottom, so it really won't be too much of an issue. And on top of that, this is not a high stress box. Literally, this thing will be either sitting on a shelf or in a gun safe. I think in Mike's case, it'll be a gun safe. <laughs> you know, For me, my, my stuff, I just want it as a nice place to put my cards. Um, so this little latch holds it in, the inside, uh, the inside's unfinished. Uh, the beauty about this, this red cedar, this is the same stuff you have in like a hamster cage that smells like, mm. It helps repel moths and it's very good at regulating the humidity. So it'll help uh, to keep everything nice and fresh. More importantly, keeps the humidity constant. So that way, if I start adding silica packets or other thing to keep the moisture in here, uh, one humidity, it will stay that. This is really sweet. Uh, why this rather than just a plastic box? A plastic box can introduce uh, water and retain it, whereas this will actually soak it. So if there's any time that there's more humidity in the air, like a big rainy season or something, it will then, this is almost like a, like a battery, it'll just soak up the extra moisture to keep your cards nice and safe. Um, so that's, that's kind of sweet. Oh, and then this scallop. So all I did is put this on my table saw, put about a 10 degree cut, and then, as you can see, I just went and then I carried that angle all the way up. So it looks like that the whole way. So you got these really cool compound things. Anyway, uh, let me know you guys thought in the comments below. If you want some more of these kind of videos, let me know, but maybe next time I'll be able to do a build video. All right, like, comment, subscribe, you guys. Talk to you soon. See ya.